Hey guys! So, um, today was good. Really long, but somewhat eventful. Um, okay, so this morning, Gigi was, um, beginning to make this thing from, um, the Harry Connick Jr. show, so, um, but I had to get the recipe from HarryTV.com because she didn't know exactly what was in it, and she's blind, so, you know... can't get my hair to like me for five minutes. Like, I've been working on trying to do this vlog with my hair not being fucking ridiculous. And it's just not possible at this point. So, you know, I'm saying fuck it. But, um, yeah. Anyway, so I helped her with that, the beginning of that. And the recipe itself was a bitch. So, like... To do it, you need to, like, brown ham hocks. Well, when you get ham hocks that are brown, how much browner do you fucking want them? They sat there in oil for, like, four hours, at the very least, trying to get browner. <sighs> but, yeah. It, it was stupid. Um, Mom left this morning at, like, 7 a.m. to take her car into the dealership. And, um, you know, because her tires have been being, have been being stupid. So, yeah, and she was there for five or six hours. She didn't get home till around one or two. She actually came home with a rental car because uh, the parts they need to be able to fix her car, they have to order. And apparently it's the part that holds the wheels together onto the car. And she said it's not the axle, but yeah, that's like really loose and they have to like completely replace it to be able to fix it, but whatever. Um, to do her rental car and it's a Nissan Versa and it's really nice. Um, $17 a day and she has it for like three days. So see, I asked her how much it was earlier and she's like, oh, $17 and I'm thinking, oh, I thought it was closer to like two fifty or something like that a day, like something really insanely expensive. <sighs> but yeah, so really, she paid fifty one dollars for three days, which is not bad. Um, and then so I left her with Gigi, and then I left because there was a new coffee shop that opened not too far from here. And, um, they were having, like, discounted food and free coffee, and it was just, like, it was their, it was their grand opening today, so I wanted to go to it. Um, it was pretty decent coffee. It, um, it's good. Why is my hair being so fucking stupid? Um, and I know people are probably gonna say, why don't you put it up? Because I hate putting my hair up in a fucking ponytail holder. Because it, it just doesn't feel right. Um. So. Yeah. But then. Other than that. I went to the store afterwards. And. Got a few things. Gigi wanted some donuts. So I got some donuts. Um. I got Gigi's friend Jackie. A bag of soft caramel because her friend just came home from the hospital today from having a pacemaker put in because apparently yesterday or the day before she got a call at like three in the morning saying hey your heart stopped while you were sleeping and uh, obviously she was awake she was alive enough to um like really like yell at the almost impossible to understand girl on the other side so she got another call at like 8 a.m saying the exact same thing but with an understandable person <laughs> um anyway so yeah she had a pacemaker put in today no she had a pacemaker put in yesterday 
she came home today, but Gigi and I are going to go give her the candy tomorrow. She actually called and said, hey, I'm in the hospital. Don't bring me flowers, bring me caramel. So, we're just thinking, okay. So, I, um, like I said, I got her soft caramel. It was actually Werther's original soft caramel. So, yeah, I was going, like, name brand. I was doing all I could for her because she really is such a sweet lady and she deserves it. Um... Uh, the one other thing I did, um, today was I had to go watch a family friend's mother-in-law for a few hours. Her name is Colleen. She's a sweetheart. She's in her 90s, I think, and she has, um, problems, so she can't be home alone for too long. They said they can leave her home alone by herself for a couple hours, but otherwise they need someone to be there with her. Um, she's really sweet. We had a lot of fun, actually. We played two games of checkers, which she beat me both times, and I wasn't trying to be, like, I wasn't trying to just, like, let her win. It was just, like, I'm really bad at checkers, so, yeah. Yeah. Probably because the last time I played was, God, it must have been like third grade or something. <laughs> but other than that, we did a U.S. map, which she was going like super fast with. Again, something I wouldn't be that great at. Because like all of the pieces were shaped like states, so like, and she knows her states really well. Like she knew where everything went. She could tell stories about each one. She could probably tell you the capital if you asked her, but yeah. And then we, no, then I put a movie on for her. It was South Pacific, which is really, really long. Um, it has two parts and, an in, and a um, thingy in the middle that I can't think of the name of. Um... An intermission in the middle. Uh, but while she was downstairs watching that, I was upstairs making her dinner. It was a um, Weight Watchers, Smart Ones, um, uh, turkey and gravy dinner. And it came with garlic mashed potatoes. And they had me give her some uh, uh, cranberry sauce with it. But it had to be, she has a swallowing problem. So it had to be cut up into little dime-sized pieces, which, I mean, I have no problem with, you know. She's an elderly woman, and she deserves, like, she deserves really good care, so. And I was not about to just give her, like, these big chunks of meat and let her, like, watch her turn beet red and start coughing. Like, no. <sighs> but, uh, Yeah. And then when I brought her dinner, we turned off the TV and then we sat at the table. She ate dinner. Um, when she was finished, I took, I put the movie back on for her. Um, you know, I said, I'll be right back. I'm going to go do dishes and I will be right back. Um, she has a little bit of a hearing problem as well, so I had to repeat it a couple times. Uh, louder so she could hear me, but, yeah. Um, then I came home, and, when, when their, when her son and daughter-in-law came home, I got to leave, and she actually seemed really sad, she said, oh, you're leaving, but, um, yeah, I got $30, that's $10 an hour, and I would definitely do it again. Because she asked, and I said, oh, most definitely. Like, we had fun. We weren't just sitting there doing one thing or the other. There's a bunch of stuff she likes to do. There's, she loves, like, older musicals and, yeah. Anyway, um, I guess I will just, like I said, um, I came home. I didn't really eat dinner. 
Mom and I ran up to the store, got drinks, came back, didn't eat, and I'm going to bed. So, anyway, um, yes, I will just talk to you guys later. See ya.